got Super Mega Nerdcast episode three. We got Jesse of Zombie Jail T1. We got Chris of Big Family Gaming. We got the Brady, B Rad himself, and your boy, me, Retro Ryan. So, who's gonna start it off? Let's let's start it off with uh, Jesse this time because he's been dropping pickup videos like a mother effer. Start off, Jesse. <laughs> Some great shit, man. I appreciate that, guys. Um, a lot of my pickups are actually from way long ago. So what you're seeing is months and months of just me going out there and finding this stuff. We haven't had time to actually film it until now, but I'm glad that y'all are tuning in and are active in the chat, uh, are leaving awesome comments showing that, you know, support that I always go out there and, and kind of preach to everybody. Um, does anybody have any questions about anything that I've shown in the videos? Any, anything at all? I want, oh, oh, I'm I'm gonna need some manuals. That's all. I'm oh yeah, say. I, I was like, probably gonna say. <laughs> we have. We're, we're gonna talk. Was it like Don't a thousand, a thousand manuals in those boxes? Yeah, uh, I didn't show exactly what how filled those boxes were, but trust me, they were filled to the top. I I could not believe you pulled Master System manuals out of there. I it's couldn't like, believe yeah. that either. <laughs> that was just nuts. I couldn't believe that you gave me Super Tech Mobile CIB and then went out and got it again. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is this? Hey, that's what you wanted for Christmas, so there you go. <laughs> that is Merry my most Christmas. prized Christmas present, too. <laughs> Zombie, there, there, there was more uh, manuals than on the, on the border in those boxes. Wow. <laughs> And the worst part about that, too, is there we actually found another box that we didn't film. So there's two more boxes filled with manuals that we did not get on camera. Oh, what my the gosh. Hell? Holy moly. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm, I'm going to make a list, and I'm going to send it your way. And, and if you have a few, you know, let me know. I'll gladly compensate you yeah. for your time. Anybody out so there gross. watching? anybody out there watching the podcast, if there's a manual you're looking for, Message me on Twitter, Instagram, whatever. Um, let me know what you're looking for, because I'll totally help out. All I'm still missing Hashtag is the gamers full helping gamers. Nintendo. All Hashtag. I'm still missing is the full NES and full Super Nintendo library. That's all I'm missing. Just the entire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Zombie, you think you can help Ryan out with that? With that little Samson, you know, he, he needs that. I might have a third one. <laughs> I think one is actually holding up our coffee table. Uh, that's a good place for it. <laughs> if you if you ever want to get rid of that world in, or Nintendo World Champions, it's just scaring away the mice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. The one that I keep, the one that I keep behind a, a laser grid fence. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> you it's put... funny the uh, the movers were actually wondering what was on the shelves, and then I pulled out. A, uh, my uh, my NES set that came with Rob, and you should have seen just how how nerded <laughs> out a lot of them got over half the consoles they saw in the move. Yeah, I had a Ace or a HVAC guy come over to my place one time, and he saw that I had the uh, Final Fight arcade one up. He was like, "Oh man, that's awesome." I love all these retro games, and I didn't say anything, but I was thinking, <laughs> you need to see what else I have. Right? <laughs> <laughs> one um, of our neighbors, one of our neighbors finally got to come over today, and it's sad because he's been wanting to, he's been wanting to check out the gaming area and all, like, the collections and everything, and he happened to walk by when the movers were there, and he's like, I'll take that, I'll take that <laughs> system, that system. <laughs> And I think the first thing he pointed out was the 5200 that I have. And I'm like, uh, no, <laughs> that stays yeah. here. <laughs> right. well, it goes on the moving truck. Mm -hmm. Especially since it's original uh, four controller slot release. Nice. Oh, nice. Uh, How cool would it be if Nintendo like pressed uh, like a manual, just like a, like a comprehensive manual like encyclopedia like of all the of all the titles <laughs> would they would they not have the rights to do that 
That would be a dream project of mine. Yeah, I, I someone would else could do that. All do the like manuals an in unofficial. one book. Yeah, exactly. I don't know that they would have the rights. Honestly, I think I think the rights to the manuals would probably stay with um, yeah. a lot of the the whole, you know the, like Capcom would own the Mega Man ones or whatever you know so mm -hmm. um, I you know Nintendo even though that's the platform at the time I don't I don't think they hold the license to the manual or whatever but I, people that get paid more can, can than me that can sort that shit out but well, I mean um, you can get them off of the internet yeah yeah that's fine is that uh, but, but that, imagine that one, that one place that does the uh, the box image art. Yeah, oh, imagine, imagine like a printout of every manual that was ever released. How cool would that be? It would be awesome. Just to have it on a three and a half that, inch floppy disk. It'd be a thick ass <laughs> library. <laughs> um, I don't know if I remember I talked about this last week or not. Um, before we went camping last week, uh, I was getting the camper ready. I, and please stop me if I've said this story already. Um, and the neighbor showed up. I, I, I could have swear I said that. I don't know. Yeah, I, think I was, I was really this. drunk last week. And I sold them. I believe you passed um, out on us. I, I did. And I woke <laughs> up in the middle of the night outside the camper. Oops. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I, yeah, I took him into the game room and he was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. And he asked for a copy of Doom on the Switch. He was like, you don't have Doom, do you? I was like, yeah, I got Doom. <laughs> It's like, dude, I was trying to buy that on Amazon, but they wanted ninety dollars. I'm like, well, okay. He's like, can I give you fifty bucks for it? I'm like, yeah, yeah, give me fifty <laughs> bucks. That's, that's fine, dude. I don't care. Like, I don't mind hooking up the neighbor, you know. You don't mind hooking up mm -hmm. the Brady either. The Brady, and which speaking of Brady, I I finally have obtained today uh, another copy of Fight for New York. Uh, oh. On PS2. Nice. <laughs> well, I mean, you're an asshole because you can find that. <laughs> now, <laughs> you, now that I've owned another copy. Of it. Yeah. <laughs> but I, there, I, this, I go this... into game stores and see it for a hundred, hundred and fifty dollars. I'm like, mm, no. It, it's pushing over two hundred now. Yeah. Um. It's... They um. Well, I got mine. This was a from you. This was a trade locally. Um, uh, another gamer in, in our local Kansas City gaming group, he, um, he tried to sell it, and, and there is, like, an asterisk I want to say next to it, and that the disc shows some imperfections, that there's a nice little, little good mark on the outside of the disc, um, so part of my trade to him was a sealed copy of, uh, Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition on the Switch, Oh. And uh, he he agreed to leave it sealed until I play enough of Fight for New York that I'm satisfied with the trade. Oh. So I do I want to get set up and stream it so I can go ahead and, and stream. Yeah, it's, I, think, I need to get my PS3 up you know, so I can stream that. Yeah, I think I think people would enjoy. And I so I don't, but I've never played the game. I don't know how far or what I would need to do. To get deep into it, to get to the outer realms of this disc, uh, it's... to test, you know. <laughs> um, so it we'll is see. like RPG uh, beat 'em up. I thought it was a fighting game. I didn't think it was a beat 'em up. I thought it was more like Mortal Kombat type fight, fighting. But no, there's, 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 I think I'm pr yeah. I, I played a little bit of it. There's like RPG shit too. Like, you have to do certain things to do other things. Build your fighter. Yeah. We're going to find out. That's that's on my plan. I have a few videos, too, that I have, like, recorded. I have not edited together. Um, and uh, I need to I need to get on that. Because um, I know, uh, you know I'm going to put some content out there. So... <laughs> Got it, got it. I gotta go on that zombie level. <laughs> what I'm saying is the baby better be grabbing at your face the whole video or I'm not watching. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I have another one of those in the in the pipeline right now, but we can we can get that arranged. 
that was great. Everybody seemed to enjoy that. So, yeah, bring the baby back. <laughs> I want Hashtag my baby. Where, bring the baby back. <laughs> Where were you eating at in the in the in the uh, pick from earlier? It look, looked pretty good. That food. Oh, tonight. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh. That was a local bar chain called the Peanut here in Kansas City, and they're known for their wings. Um, and they their wings are served. They they serve you the entire wing. They don't you know they're not the little chopped up wings. You get the full nice. Uh, you know the the little drummy connected to the wing connected oh, to the little. I, got, I know what you're saying. Yeah. yeah, you get you get the full wing. And when so, uh, when when Chris goes out with his family, when you go out with your family, Chris, do they assign uh, two or three waitresses for your table? <laughs> you, you, usually it's parties. one. I'm not gonna lie; it, it's happened. We've gotten a second waitress yeah. sometimes. They they step in and they're like, "Okay," especially if we go with the cousins. You know, my wife's cousin has six kids too, so <laughs> then it's yeah. like, yeah. And um, we that was where, where did we go? Was it two weeks ago? We went to Red Robin, and my wife's cousin, her her mom, unfortunately, isn't doing too well. So that's my wife's aunt. Um, but she's kind of like the black sheep of their family. And, uh, um, so it was her cousin with their six kids and her aunt and, and then her cousin's sisters or other cousin. And they were all there with their couple kids. Like we took up this whole section of Red Robin, but you know, I just felt, I felt called. I was like, you know, they're, they're, they're not doing good. So I, I took the waitress off to the side. I was like, Hey, uh. I was like, just put it all in one check. I was like, I'm, I'm going to pay for everybody. Just like, just, I know they had originally said separate checks. I was like, I, I want to take care of this for everybody. And, and afterwards, her cousin got mad at me for doing it. She was like, you didn't need to do that. You know, I was like, no, no, it's fine. I was like, you know, you hadn't seen your mom in a long time. And I know she's not doing good. Like, it's nothing. It's just a gift, you know, just um, enjoy it. And I'm glad you guys were able to get together and, and see her and stuff because, yeah, she's she's been spending some time in the hospital, but you know that's the way it goes. So when 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 the nerd cast all meets up at a convention, we know who to give the check to. Yeah, uh, maybe depends, <laughs> how, depends <laughs> on how many how good have I did at the at the convention. <laughs> Zombie BFG, I haven't seen you guys featured on uh, Northeast Gaming Exchange's website yet. No, I'm I'm not going. I I've seen Shady J's on there now. If I if I ever get asked to go, I'll be there. Yeah, right. Huh? Um, I'm I'm not dude, being I mean, asked I'm... to go, but I think I'm gonna go. <laughs> there's a uh, I want to see Pac-Man case. There's a suggestion to get a, on the interview. A local guy, he actually reached out, and apparently, I mean, he's been doing YouTube a little while. He has a neat little channel called Kyle the Collector with a K. So Kyle with a K and then Collector with a K. I think I've heard of him. Yeah, that he, sounds uh, familiar. Yeah. He um yeah, he, so maybe we ask him to come on the Super Mega Retro Dudes and then he uh he wanted me to do a little a little video collab with him too. So uh nice. I got to I got to get that done. Um So Does Zach know? Yeah, it's, I don't think so, but when I go like I'm friends with him on Facebook now and uh you know, there's a lot of, especially beggar named older YouTube channels. You know, the the people behind those channels that he's friends with. I was throwing names out to um, Ryan. Oh, nice, They're going to be at Southeast Game Exchange, and they've been doing YouTube for a while, and we've never heard of them. I know. Well, what kind of content does Kyle the Collector do? He's he's done, uh, you know, collection videos. He's also done um, like. Toys and uh, pickups, like and reviews of local Kansas City gaming uh, stores and stuff. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, check 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 them out, guys. You know, oh, nice, I'd love nice to get guy. On the show. I'd love to get on the show. Some people that were developers back in the day for some of the some of the big the big companies, like just I, to kind of I, pick their brain about I like think what your it, first go to for that should be Resvergram. Okay. Um, he PM he's been, yeah he's been starting to stream again. This is another guy who's a, a big in the community. He's been very big supporter across a lot of different channels. I've been hanging out on, 
and uh, he has now his own, like, I guess his second channel, it's Reservoir Games Plays, and he's been doing live stream, but from what I know, what he's talked about in the comments, he used to be a developer back in the day. You know, he he's worked for some of those companies, so um, I, yeah, I'll send you his info that I have. Um, I know he's on Discord, too, so uh, we, we should definitely, you know. Oh, yeah. I, he 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 be one if you that's the kind of thing you want you know he'd be one of the first ones to get to so I was awesome to hear that nerd like there the, un, the, was doing... the unsung heroes you know he, yeah mm -hmm. oh he he's got some stories to tell I'm sure right? yeah you know, nerd sure nerdler he's... was a tester for Nintendo that like he was like yeah I can't really talk too much about that otherwise they'll send hitmen after me. That's <laughs> <laughs> great. It'd be really neat to talk to a lot of the guys from uh, Activision, like when it first started. Yeah, I've met a, I've met a few of them at Game On, and they used to share stories about how it was to be like really overworked, how to pump out that that game in like weeks, and then you know they talked about, of course, the whole fiasco with. Um, leaving Atari to start Activision, and then yeah. the issue with the Pac-Man 2600 release and the E.T. release. So a lot of those guys would be really cool to talk to on the live stream to kind of <laughs> oh, get yeah, like, that they, 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 they hid their names uh, at the end or something, like, in the, to, get the cre to get credit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep, the first Easter eggs. As, as long as they have some brain cells left, because I know I know there was a lot of partying going on back. Oh yeah, a lot, a lot of. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, a lot of herb toking. <laughs> Such was the time, right? When in Rome. Mm -hmm. When uh, when you yes when you think about what games are like today, and you go back to that time period when Atari Twenty Six Hundred was like top technology. Imagine being under pressure to make something that looks and plays like that versus a game of today. Right. You know, I, the, I love so many things about retro gaming. You know something I hate, though? RF signal. <laughs> I hate RF signal. Like, I hate the way it looks. I hate the snow on the screen. I hate, like, just, just give us video and audio left and right. Uh -huh. Like, just when, when you get an Atari... And it's just RF. When you get when you get a stock Turbo Graphics and it's just RF, it's just like ugh. I hate RF. How about the NES top loader? Right. It's only NES RF. Top, yeah, that's right. Now, mm -hmm. you gotta say though, like, and you know, to play the devil's advocate here, if you have a, a good CRT, now you know, granted, you may not have it had a good CRT. Most people didn't have the top of the line CRTs growing up, but if you had the top of the line CRT, if you had a Trinitron. It can clean up an RF signal quite nicely. Right. I've seen I've seen Trinitrons do wonders to an RF signal. So um, we had that. That would be my only caveat. Chris, we had like the next notch down. Zenith. <laughs> <laughs> Zenith, uh, we had Zenith, Zenith was dope though, dude, dude. But Zenith was dope in the '80s. They were making sure. TVs they were, back. They, they yeah, they weren't top of the line, but they were a very well respected brand. And, like the uh, middleman, right? And we had uh, we had Zenith in the PS One um, era, and I have vivid memories of of uh, playing Silent Hill on my PS One with the lights off in the living room on our on our Zenith CRT. So, and that game freaked me the hell out, which was awesome. It was good times. The RCA CRT that I had for. She's almost 20 years after I got it. Um, still made some of the clearest picture for an RF coaxial connection. It didn't have the AV ports like later yeah. CRT started having. That didn't and come so, along till late 90s, honestly. I mean, it was it was not common. Yeah, yeah. It was definitely mass produced by the 90s, but to have that in the early 80s was very rare. You had to be like wealthy to have that. <laughs> Dude, if you take this model one, like with that, even with that like stock RF, and, and like change it over to like the 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 um the stock cable that did like 
video and, and audio left and right. It's like going from like scrambled porn to like HD. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. like when you go to the video, it's so much clear. Like I'm just saying, maybe just on a model, like like he's probably right. Like it could do, you know, the old CRTs could do a lot more. But when you look at like how bad the RF looks, like on 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 a modern TV, oh my god, versus like the video, it's just so bad with the RF. I hate RF. When when you grow up with a TV <laughs> that had UHF. Mm-hmm. And uh, I forget what the other one is. Is it VHF? VHF, yeah, yep. yeah. UHF, VHF, yes, sir. Your channels are divided among two knobs, okay? Oh, God. and <laughs> have so much feedback in the speaker, even when you turn the pull knob that turns your TV on and off when you pull it all the way to the left, and you still mute it, and you can still hear it crackling. Anything is a step up. That's right. So I it's remember like a... when we when we finally switched out our old TV that had like the prongs that had the screw in attachments in the back, the flathead oh, ones. De- the yeah. devil's pitchfork. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was a godsend to have RF. Now what we didn't know of was the AV setup, and eventually I got a TV that did that. I remember when we lit candles before there were light bulbs. <laughs> it, it does feel like that. No, really. And and you're taking me back to, like, my grandma's kitchen, you know, with the black and white TV. I know exactly what you're talking about, zombie. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, that's what we had, you know. I And sometimes I'd even hook up my Nintendo to that little black and white TV in the kitchen and play, you mm-hmm. know, while she was cooking, you know. And um, it, it did. It had the double knobs, VHF, UHF, ultra high frequency, very high frequency. Um, yep. You know, and and majority of the channels were on the VHF. You know, it's like your threes and fours style. and and your five and ten. You know, your grandma memory, right? My grandma's house, like I think there's like a rotary dial phone, and I could oh. not make a call on that as a kid. Like, <laughs> I, like, how does it, what do I do with this thing? Dude, my first job I was at a rotary. diner. I used to clean it, and their only phone was a rotary dial phone. <clears throat> so awesome. We had rotary for I did years drug too. Deals on that phone. If anybody has one sitting around, we'll we'll take your rotary dial phones here. We you know send them. Send oh, them the worst, is, the worst was when the phone numbers had digits near the very far end of it. So you're like two, uh-huh. pull, yeah. three, <laughs> seven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no the, uh, the worst was when you messed up you do and then you had to and hang and up you and you had to start over to go back. Yes, yes. You, you're like six digits in and then you messed up and you did that one yes. number wrong. Yep. You're like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, I loved it though. Oh, yeah. I love it when you look back Sim- on those. Simpler on that... times, man. It was. It was. I mean, yeah. I know we sound like old farts reminiscing over here or whatever, but I, mean, Dude, I want one of those <laughs> old school. Well, I think they, I think they reproduce them. Now, but the the old ones where you hold the thing up to your ear and talk into the microphone coming out. It's a rotary phone. Oh, oh yeah. the sixties, the sixties handset. Yeah, no, I, I, I think he's talking about like the early, the early ones where you like you have like the cone that you put up to your ear, and there's like another cone. Yeah, you speak into. yeah. <laughs> you ain't old enough for that. You no, no, I want one of those. <laughs> I don't remember them. I do. <laughs> I never. Yeah, I've never actually used one, but I, I want one. I've seen. Brady's like, restaurant. remember when you had to turn like a <laughs> <laughs> Well. Wait, am I the oldest one here? Mm. We're all about the same. Probably not. 36, 37, 38. What's the difference? Yeah. Uh, Late not 30s. A whole lot there. Yeah. Years, centuries. <laughs> centuries. Mm. My days, Sonny. <laughs> Zombie is the eternal undead, so. Yeah, that's true. I remember when Morse code came out, damn it. Right. Smoke signals. <laughs> no, I was telling Ryan earlier, I seen a, I seen a, TV at a yard sale that I'm thinking about going back and checking out tomorrow. Yeah. He's also talking about a TV VCR combo. CRT? He, yeah. TV, DVD, VCR. 
Oh my gosh, my wife, I was about to pick one up and they were free at the yard sales oh. today. Oh. And uh, and she was like, no. She was like, you got enough of those. She was like, you can't. You can't <laughs> she wouldn't let you more. get the combo CRT? No. Oh, she don't want DVD your house. Uh, yeah, BFG, she don't want your house looking like Sanford and Son. It already Sanford does. Sanford. Like, what's one more? It already does. What's Sanford. one more? Did you tell her that? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I didn't fight it today. I was just like, whatever. It's fine. Those are awesome. Those are the one thing that sucks about them, though, is they ate your tape quite a bit. Oh. That's what I'm saying. They I got, I got the, I got the DVD VCR combo, but I want it all. Into a TV, the all in one, yeah, all in one. yeah. yeah. All in one. I don't have a CRT I anymore want... either, so I mean, that could be my gaming, my retro gaming. Well, TV. well I was telling him for the one I'm always looking for is the SVHS VCR, the Super VHS. Oh, good luck. <laughs> I never see those, but I know they I've, have. I've only ever seen one once in my entire life, dude. But there's now, so. Clear. And that's coming and from uh, BFG. My, my, my cousin, yeah, luck. who got his degree in filmmaking, and he was editing his movie that he was working on right after college, he had, um, I don't know where he found it, but he had an SVHS player because um, he it was shot on SVHS. So, like... You know, if he he had to have the super high quality VHS player. I was like, wow. I mean, and, you know, again, back in the day, this was like it amazing technology. Difference. It did. It was huge. Mm -hmm. You, you yeah. know, they actually, you know, they actually had HD movies on VHS. Yeah, they, oh, yeah, they did. Yeah, I know. like it's crazy. What you'll see is the um, DVD VCR combos that have S video out on the DVD side. But they're all yes. on the VHS side, which I wish they were. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, and super VHS. Even, 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 yeah, even if it had S video out, that doesn't necessarily make it an S VHS player. Right. You know, super, that, those are, those are very niche. This one has S video out, but it's only S video out. I don't know if it's for both yeah. or just one. It, it may even be for both, Brady, but again, it, it, the player itself would have to be labeled as SVHS. The S, Aluma Donkey's asking, uh, what's the S for? It's for Super. For, yeah. Super <laughs> Video Home System. Well, and, and the, the, I have a Trinitron 27 inch. Um, and, it, and it takes the S video in the back. And yeah. I have a really good monster cable from back in the day, SVHS. I just need a damn SVHS out on a VCR and I can't find one. I know they had them because I used to see them. From what I understand, VHS players are are pricey on eBay nowadays. Yeah, yeah. they are. Like, the, yeah, the combos that, are they're, ridiculous. Like, like so, I I think I have a few. I I um part of my pickups this week, um if you saw the picture I shared on Twitter, um included a Wii console. I walk up to this garage sale. I I notice this box that says free on the side of it. And I look inside of it, and there's a black Wii. With a uh, joy, uh, the nunchuck in the box, and <laughs> nice. all the paperwork and games, and it says free on it. And I'm, I'm like peeking through it, and the lady sees me, and she looks at me, and she goes, "You got to take the VCR and the DVD player that it's sitting on too." I said, "Fine." <laughs> <laughs> You're twisting my arm so about that. that. All right, that. <laughs> don't do that too much. Right? Right. I was like, no, no problem, you know. <laughs> I, oh, you're I twisting my nipple with that one. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh man, I was gonna get, I was gonna grab it too until you said that. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Um. So yeah, no, that <laughs> it was that was part of the deal this that uh, yesterday. Uh. Yeah, I got lucky with the uh the citywide garage sale here. Um. Yeah, they weekend. were just doing that this weekend awesome. too, but there was nothing going on. Like I said, I drove past that one. And <laughs> you gotta saw get that there early. TV. I went to the flea market first. No, you, you got to hit the garage sales early. We were up and out of the house by seven thirty, and and going. Yeah, I got up at nine. Um, yeah, see, that's that's my problem is, I would be up, at like when I used to go yard selling with my aunt, we'd grab a paper early in the morning, circle yep. every location we're gonna go, and it was like an ops mission. <laughs> we're not gonna spend more than like fifteen minutes here because it's gonna take fifteen minutes to get to this location. And by then, that's these right. people will be right. up. 
She, she was legit. She knew what was up. Mm-hmm. Um, That's how we did it. And, and uh, I mean, you do. You got to hit it. You got you got to hit them early because I I tell you what. And even I was talking to my wife. I was like, look, it's ten o'clock. I was like, I'm done. I was like, come ten ten o'clock in the morning. I was like, people been been garage selling all morning by that point. Yeah. And you've missed all the good shit, right? Which mm-hmm. um. So and, and now I know you guys want to talk about this these pickups I I shared, um, and I and I have a video I recorded a video but we could talk about it. Um, yeah, I shared these on Twitter. Um, we got a huge Wii U lot this uh, this weekend. So uh, the day before the Citywide Garage Sale, I was telling my wife I was like, look, we should post and and I did this last year. I said we should post in the groups that hey we're looking for video games. She goes, yeah. She said, let me let me post it on the the Facebook group for the women here in town, and they have their own little Facebook group, and and it's called Chica Chatter. They call it Chica Chatter <laughs> here in here in town. And so she posted. She said, hey, I'm I'm looking for video games for my husband for Father's Day. He's a collector. Let us know if you're having, you know, any if you have any video games, want to get rid of. And um, some Cheating. some people started res- some people started responding, being like, yeah. Um, you know, you can go on Amazon and buy those all-in-one systems for like fifty bucks. You know, and and you know, p- play as many games as you want. And she's like, no, 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 no. She's like, I'm looking for the real deal game. So, finally, this lady messages her and is like, would you be interested in any of this? But we didn't see the message till the day we go out garage selling because the kids grabbed her phone and killed it, and she lost it. You know, for the evening, she didn't know where it was, and so we didn't see this message till the next day. And uh, she showed me the picture. She's like, "Is this stuff any good?" I'm like, "Yes, yes." Get tell her yes. Ask her how much immediately for all. And apparently, she was about to put it out at her her garage sale. Um, and so you know, we're out doing our thing in the morning, and um, finally she responds. She's like, "Well, you know, how how about seventy five bucks for all the Wii U and Wii games?" And I was like, "Yes, fine, no problem." I demoed her immediately. And so she pulled them out of the um, out of the garage sale, and uh, so because again it was under the guise of getting these games as a as a Father's Day gift. By the time I get home, we send the thirteen year old to go pick them up, and it was just a street over, like literally a street street and a half in, in my neighborhood. And so he walks over there, and as as he's picking up the game, some lady tries to grab them out of her hands, out of his hands. And it's like, oh, I need some of these. And he's like, nope. But he, like, snatches them away from her. He's like, sorry, these are already paid for. Kid one or kid so, four? Kid six? Oh, this is kid three. Kid, kid three. three, all right. Yeah, yeah, the third oldest down. <laughs> so I'm, I'm proud of him. He's he's into it. He's, he, hey, he streamed uh, on here. He's done some Fortnite streaming. And uh, uh, he did Contra once, I think, on the channel. So, um, you know, he's down. He he's always down to do some streaming, um, but yeah, he he defended the the Wii U games, and then when yeah when, when he when I got home and throwing and, elbows, uh, walking out of the <laughs> when I finally Wii U games. when he got home, I finally saw what was in there, and yeah, I mean, you'll see on the pickups, there's just there's some really good games in there. <laughs> so, I could already see from the pictures, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna say what he paid, but it's like it looks like a six hundred dollar lot to me. Yeah. If it was on eBay. So, BFG, um, <clears throat> good... we, we still yeah. got to talk about this Wii U. Hey, you know, get your, get your, your whatever, you know. We hey, Brady, <laughs> we got to talk about this game challenge that's supposed to help you with your Wii U. Oh, right? Uh, yeah. Little, Little Mermaid, let's do it. I seen you just sent <laughs> that to uh, Josh. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I did. Um, I, that... Wait, how far did I get last time? I passed one level, didn't I? Not far you enough. Passed, you passed the first level, and then you passed out by the end of the second. Yeah, so I did good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if you had completed the game, that would have been $25 off your purchase. If you had no death run it, it would have been 50 Great, you blew it. I think Zombie's saying the offer still stands. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I'm never going to be able to beat Little Mermaid. It's, uh, it's not with that attitude. You're not, not with I that know. attitude, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 
Tough game. There is hell Brady, not going to happen. That's some, that's some stinking thinking, Brady. I know. Because I'm a stinker. Oh, Brady. But anyway, yeah, that's... that's... Oh, good. Go ahead. I was going to say, yeah, that's that's my pickup story for this week. That was that was a lot of fun. And then, yeah, we went back out today. and But today we didn't leave till 830. I was like, you know what? Whatever. Um, what I did get today, um, I got I ended up with like, you know, six PS3 games. And then my buddy came over to do the trade on Fife for New York. Um, I did get a dolly finally, like a, a two wheel dolly. Oh, I yeah. use you need one of those for early Ar arcades. Ar arcades. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I finally got one. So I scored one for ten bucks at a at a garage. I figured that was a decent buy. Oh yeah, nice. Especially with all the heavy shit you got around your place. Yes. Mhm. Mm and Bro. as I'm watching the movers right now, I'm hauling all my boxes that say NES games, Sega games. It's like, damn, I need a dolly myself. Dude, why would you? <laughs> why would you mark them like that? It should be like so that way books. Like make it con inconspicuous, like books, yeah, like dead fish parts. Yeah, something like yeah. <laughs> oh no, I'm not gonna do that. These guys are actually pretty. These guys are pretty legit. In fact, I was I mean, asking. I wouldn't be worried about the movers. I'd be worried about people seeing the movers moving it, and just coming oh, up and no. grabbing the uh, shit. I'm... Nah, that ain't gonna happen because we kept all the boxes on the inside of little zombies' room. And we save those for last when sun's going down and nobody's outside being nosy. <laughs> there you go. Smart. So yeah. we kept it we kept it pretty secretive. And like I was saying, these guys are pretty legit. They actually are interested in what I have in the collection. And I said, well, if you guys get some time off once we get the game room set up, come on back. No? So spe zombie, I wanna I wanna I wanna see zombie, one of the uh, movers we're gonna get in a stream with you. <laughs> <laughs> I we bet gonna you I get, could get a, one of them. Yeah, we're that'd be get awesome. A, uh, update a game room tour then once the uh, the new one's done and, and complete. I hope Absolutely. so. Absolutely. Now that I officially have a game room, yes, I plan on. Spoiler alert! One of my streams will be a game room tour. Nice. You... Awesome. Uh, I can't wait. So yeah. that way, if you guys have any questions about what I have on the shelves or in the closets. I can pull something out and be like, okay, well, you know, pull up a chair. We're going to have a little story time. There you go. I haven't even finished this game room. I mean, out of zombies I'm going to have to build another game room. <laughs> right? Uh, Did you sucks. guys ever see Moving with Richard Pryor? You ever see that movie? Oh, I, no. I think I did years ago. I think I need to watch it again because... So I good. It, it, like, one scene, like, the movers are, like, up in his up in his bedroom and like smelling his wife's panties and he goes up man mm -hmm. what are you doing and, and the, the dude comes up to him, man, man I'll, I'll smack you in the mouth he says what do you say to me <laughs> Quaid, randy quaid played like this terrible neighbor that would like use this like super loud lawnmower every day and just drive i've never seen like that. richard Pryor that. losing his mind the whole movie oh dude I, i've seen on right? instant or on Instagram, people posting pictures of their uh, Wi-Fi signals, and they would name <laughs> oh, their Wi-Fi wi different... signals like, "Dave, stop uh, blowing your leaves at 6 a.m." Yeah, Dave, you're a fucking <laughs> asshole. Dave, stop doing that shit. It's annoying. That would be their Wi-Fi path or their Wi-Fi handles. It's great. <laughs> so there is one boxing? around my house called uh, "I'm Watching You." <laughs> one of the Wi-Fi. <laughs> like okay. We had some weird ones at the complex we lived at too. I don't know what anybody gets a kick it, out of that. I guess. <laughs> the, the, like, There's yeah. another one I think target, called target one Lord of the Wise. That's a good one. <laughs> to, to target one neighbor for blowing leaves. And make your all your Wi-Fi handles that. Well, if, <laughs> if you know what you're doing, like I like my my router, I could I could set up six different Wi-Fi spots, like from my one router, oh, right. it would have yeah, six six different names, and um, yeah. So maybe that's what's happening. I don't know. I'm just guessing, but I got to check off but of it. Somebody really doesn't like Dave, apparently. Yeah. He's not home. <laughs> Dave's not here, man. 
Dave's not here. Chris, you got uh, Chris or, or or Jesse? You got a virtual boy? Yep. I do. I you got both two. Do. You both do, man. Yeah. Get out of here. I, I just have one, but it's uh, just complete have box. Like you'd have two. <laughs> I'd really kill you if you had two virtual boys. With uh, uh, BFG, it would it, not Jesse surprise does. me. I, I did at one time. I sold one though because oh, I got the one goodness. complete in box. I was like, "Well, I don't need two. Like, what kind of condition? Is it like in really good condition too? He said complete in box, Ryan. Uh, uh. I wasn't. Mine wasn't complete in box, but it came in a blockbuster rental case. Ooh, oh, that's see, that's better. That's, that's better. 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 I do. I, yeah, I, do. I wish I could say that uh, I had that thing because. My mom left it outside during a rainstorm. What the hell? Yep. And then brought it into the house, and by then the styrofoam had rot. I love those Truff. like blockbuster cases. Like they're like a motherfucking like James Bond like like yeah. like you think oh yeah weapons in there or some shit like you know like the way they made those. Yeah. I could have knocked somebody out with the. Uh, with one of those cases with the Virtual Boy in it. I just had to swing it real hard. Boom. Oh, yeah. That thing was heavy. <laughs> it was brutal. But it sure as hell fits snug, I can tell you that. That's what she said. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm excited for you guys to, to finally see that because I know that I get some pretty cool questions and comments from people about my CIB collection and um, letting people know that a majority of that is actually from my childhood other than what you guys see in the videos, which is, you know, recent. A lot of that comes from me just saving everything. And there's a ton of stuff that you guys don't see when I'm streaming and off cameras that you guys might get a trip out of. Zombie, um, I remember whenever you used to, or whenever you first started live streaming, we could hear you rustling around because your yeah, hook, games were completely in box and, and you were preserved in plastic out. wrap. It'd be like, <laughs> I'm just getting it out of the box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. A lot of my systems are still in box. Cracking the seal on this one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, if I ever broke the seal on something, Captain Algebra would have a heart attack if he was watching. <laughs> he actually sent me something as part of a trade and I have yet to uh, film this so this is a little spoiler but in one of the upcoming uh, mail call episodes you're going to see what he traded me and it's actually a factory sealed copy of Twilight Princess oh my gosh oh, damn. On, on, which, which uh, the, or the GameCube Oh, for the, the Wii. Wii. I wish it was the GameCube, but I'm, <laughs> I'm happy with that. <laughs> um, but I do not intend on opening that ever, and I know it, it devastates him. <laughs> <laughs> I have a, as a matter of fact, Brady's probably going to hate me for this one. Then don't say it. Um, no, I kind of want to hear your opinion on this. <laughs> <laughs> I have one of your favorite games factory sealed can you guess which one it is oh, I, just, oh. I was gonna say uh which one is it punch out no oh renegade nope fuck for dodgeball nope maniac mansion yep you fuck <laughs> i'll give you my i'll give you my unsealed Left version nut. Complete in box. It even <laughs> it even has the original factory sticker on it. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, is mine actually complete? I, I think I mine can't is believe complete. you don't you don't want a games that like every other child right hey, now. Hey, mm -hmm. uh, zombie gamers helping gamers. Yeah. I'll send you my unsealed <laughs> version for your sealed version. <laughs> I'll do Look it, you, zombie. Brady. Look at Brady flipping my uh, hashtags. Um, I'm, 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 I'm biting my nails now. Brady, <laughs> I'm, going to, uh, I'm 
field your little Samson. Uh, Retro Mike. Reminiscence. What's up? Um, so, so, yeah, that's, you know, that's a good topic here, um, Ryan. Um, I, I have quite a few sealed games. Um, <laughs> it's, but, but honestly, more of my stuff is just newer stuff because as I've been getting it and not playing them, you know, I, my plan is to get to them at some point. Yeah, um, backlog. But I haven't opened them. So I, like, my, a lot of my Switch games are sealed. Um, I'm not going to send them to WADA. Especially, no. you know, especially Wada is such a freaking joke because yeah. of of there's been people sending in um, repro carts and fake games that never existed, and they'll grade that shit and send it back. Like wow, like really? Like, and and you're gonna trust these people? You're gonna pay them hundreds and hundreds of dollars, and then it just inflates the value on a game like sit in this plastic shell forever like i don't get it agreed i don't I mean, get I'm, it i'm saying what what a what a ripoff am i right 100 percent. Mm-hmm. and um you know th- there used to be you know the other company is called vga right the video game authority i yeah. think they're they're slightly better as far as grading goes because they they're not known for grading bullshit but I still am not going to do Dude, it these right. because I, I the comic book <laughs> like... collectors that got into this scene, the comic book collectors that, that are in this scene now, make me nauseous with the, <laughs> the, the, the quad of grading of this shit. I want to yeah. pick them in the sack. Like they piss me off. These people. They're not even, I want to hurt them. I, 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 that's a guy, I like that. <laughs> I, I, I don't even consider them part of our scene. I don't consider them part of their group because. Um, and because like they're not playing it, they're 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 literally going for the sealed games. Like, you know the the biggest um the the one that sticks out in my mind, right, is the uh, black box Super or yeah Super Mario Brothers with the original sticker seal. Yeah, right. That you know is going for hundreds and hundreds of thousands oh, of dollars, dude. Which um. Is, Push Pillows has that with the uh, unpopped tab. Yeah, he has the he has the unpunched uh, hang tab version, but he doesn't have the uh, original Nintendo st- uh, Stick. seal sticker on the top. Aww. But I remember when Push sent me those pictures, and I gave him a shout out in one of my earliest videos about what a what an amazing find that is because it's a it's a minty copy. And I'm like, you got to put that in a box protector, bro. If you have no intention of selling it, archive that as a piece of history because if if, yeah. if it's not gonna go, if it's not gonna stay with a collector or a fan like him, then you know, do whatever you want at that point. But that's part of the problem with Wada and companies like that. Um, kind of building up on what Chris was saying, they're making a unnecessary market which as he said drives up the prices of a lot of that stuff it creates an, a sub market that we don't need as fans and as collectors because everybody starts basing everything off that one example right. and we see this we see this with craigslist sellers Facebook sellers, yard sellers. I know what I have. I saw on on the internet it sold for a hundred thousand. So that's what I want mm-hmm. for my Mario Duck Hunt combo cartridge. Listen, dude. Anyway, here's and here's the thing. Here's what really bugs me is that people in the community are eating this shit up. People, there yeah. are collectors that are getting on board with it. That they're like, oh well, maybe, maybe I will send in this this graded copy. Great. I got a buddy locally here. He found. A sealed copy of Colibri on uh, the 32X. And it, it just sat in his box in his collection for a long time. And then he decided to send it to Wada. And, oh. and, and it just, you know, he's not really a 32X collector. Um, but he, he had gotten this as part of a lot and it was cheap. He didn't have any, hardly any money into it. Right. So he just paid mm-hmm. the fee to WADA and it came back as like a 9.8 on the WADA scale, which again, whatever, like, I don't, I don't put anything into it, but now that was like, he, that was it. He was hooked. And so now he sent more and more things 
to go get graded as he finds sealed sealed mm -hmm. shit. And I'm just like, why? Why? I just I don't I don't understand. And he, he he's a gamer. He's a collector. Like you know, ni nice guy, nice enough guy, but it, like bullshit. Like, yeah, and how can you trust? <laughs> how can you trust them as a source? Because what if you sent in something that you think is worth money, then they send it back to you, and then they're like, oh, no, it's really not worth anything. Then you might get the idea to sell it, and then lo and behold, they're the people who buy it off you, and then now they've got a game that they've duped you into selling that's worth hundreds. That's true. Original. <laughs> with it now, even the comic book scene, like, if if you're putting under $1,000 comic comics in, in one of those things... You're just an idiot. I'm sorry. Like, dude, don't do that. Like, mm -hmm. why? Like, you know, I could see if it's like it's like over a thousand dollar comic book or something. Okay, put it in that. But like, dude, if it's under that, just like put it in a fucking bag it and board it like a normal human being, so you can still take it out and look at the fucking thing. Don't. Oh, it's just it's just so silly to me, man. And, and yeah, like I... doing that. People are sending like like forty dollar comics in for that. Yeah. Like it's, it's a joke. I, I'm trying to think. I think I have a sealed copy of um, I Toy on the PS2. Maybe I should send that in and see what see what they say. <laughs> <laughs> like that. The, the, I mean, again, but why? That's just a waste of forty bucks and six months for you to get your game back. I'll send in my sealed copy of Stampede for the Intellivision and see what they tell me. I mean, they'll grade it. They will. They'll tell you. They'll gladly take your money. And I, that's the other thing. I've heard people complain that they paid for expedited um, expedited uh, processing, and it's still taking longer. And, you know, I'm, I'm guessing it's just because of the, of the, you know, sheer amount of people are sending shit in. But, mm -hmm. again, that... that that doesn't bode well for us collectors, right? That doesn't bode well for people who, who you know, again, I'm, I am a collector. I do collect, and I also like to play. But I'm not here to collect boxes of plastic, if that makes sense, even though they are yeah. cartridges. But you know what I'm saying. It's not, mm -hmm. it's not a fucking Ark of the Covenant from fucking Indiana Jones that you got to preserve in a plexiglass fucking airtight... <laughs> Container. <laughs> and put hey, I'm I'm collecting fuck. childhood. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, and th and yeah. that's the way it should be. Uh, you know, honestly, that's that's if if you're gonna get into it, especially think, nowadays, um, right? Is the main thing if they um do the important stuff like the bed, and then um come back tomorrow <laughs> at Oh, it's the zombies movers. I was like, wait. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that threw me for a loop. Um, Zombie, is your bed retro? So is it okay with you? It's a fucking car bed. <laughs> His roommates gave it to him. <laughs> Actually, Lil Z has the car bed. I never owned one as a it's kid. Got... Zombie, have you thought about it's got water a great system? Your bed. <laughs> Have I thought about water grading my bed? It's a, fucking, yeah. it's a fucking sweet bed. Well, it just came out this year, so I imagine it probably won't be worth much. <laughs> you could get you could get a water bed and water grade your water. <laughs> Dude, you don't know how much we want a water bed. We want one from oh, the eighties. Bad. They're horrible. Cutie Bad and I have talked about actually getting one of those eighties water beds. <laughs> I want to. I slept on one. I loved it. <laughs> oh, my parents. I want to send it out of it. Tiger LCD game for them to grade, like a the biggest piece of shit that they can put. <laughs> it's in done. Them. It's been done. <laughs> Fucking terrible Tiger LCD game. It's in that. It's in. It's in that like plastic shit that you like. You slice your hand open to open. Remember those like mm -hmm. those kind of, uh, containers? Blister, those blister packs. Uh, oh God. That plastic. Yes. Mm hmm. I remember I used to get so impatient with those that I would grab them by the top halves and just 
split right down the middle because I got tired of trying to cut the damn thing. Wait, was there a threat in the 90s of people stealing Tiger LCD handhelds? Must have been. I mean, people steal lame shit even today. People rob from dollar stores. What does that tell you? Oh my god. People will steal anything if they can. Sad. But uh, I kind of want to bring something up since we've all touched on like our experiences with buying, selling, and these artificial markets and you know shit like that. Um, have any of you experienced that one type of seller that is trying to sell you something that they think Jesus himself autographed? Yes. And you know that it's not worth the price that they're asking for. How do you approach that? I send people on eBay screenshots of realistic sold listings. And I say, or I, you know what I'll do on Facebook Marketplace? Like when somebody wants to like not budge $5 on a price, I'll pull up some shit new at Best Buy and be like, bro, that's what it sells for new. You're going to stick with that price, you're firm on that? And then you know what they say? The, they, they go, so, so go buy it at Best Buy then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what they say like, to me. Oh, and I'm like, I don't give okay. a fuck if I will then. You, you should start responding with the picture of you at Best Buy, holding it in your hand, like, checking out. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, done. <laughs> it's like, bro, you're trying to get the same price for your used game as it's going for at Best Buy right now. Do you have sense? Um, I, I, I've used that tactic in the past, and... Um, uh, it, Say it's 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 either fifty percent of the time it's like you you described like go oh, well go buy it there then and yeah I do yeah. or you know every once in a while they like oh well I I didn't know that sorry you know and, and yeah, they yeah. they're they're legit like yeah well how about twenty and, bucks lower then I'm like oh perfect you know and like, that's why I do it by the way I don't do it to rub it in the face I do it because like say they have like a stack of games right so I'm trying to get them down on a few of them so I'm just trying to say dude this is what it's going for now. Because some of these people don't update their shit. Like, they have a listing from two right. months ago, and that's what they wanted then. But, dude, like, since then, it's gone on sale three times. So You'll see that a lot with OfferUp apps. Oh, yeah. No, Ryan told me out on Offer, eBay Offer up went downhill. With the uh, action figures doing uh, making offers. I never made offers until Ryan told me about it. You throw an offer out oh, you got to three different people and first one the bites that's right yeah i've sent i've sent like four different four like three four different people uh making offers and then whoever bites i've retracted the other three <laughs> you ever done that before <laughs> you, can retract, you can retract it you just, you just press retract and then you say uh enter the wrong amount you know how many times i've done that yeah. That that's like how yeah. you get it. That's how, like how you get a, a a deal price quick. Make an offer on four different fucking listings. Whoever bites first, retract the other three. That's you're what done. I did on some of those action figures. Yeah. It were it, it, it loophole. <laughs> well, I so bringing it full circle here. I had to replace my copy of Doom. You know, with the fifty dollars that I sold my neighbor, my copy of Doom for so i went on ebay and the only one i could find one was for 59 dollars. i was like fuck it i was like i'll eat the nine dollars i was like that's fine and then in the facebook group later that day after i'd already hit purchase on the ebay one uh i said i'm looking for a copy of doom and somebody was like yeah how about 50 bucks shipped i was like deal <laughs> and so i went on ebay and i was just like i need to cancel this order and it was like yeah no problem and refunded my money immediately and you know, he never even shipped it, so it was like no, no big deal. You I know? think there's so. a lot of people that have no idea that that price is up on that game. They would probably get rid of it for fifteen. Ah, uh, maybe. I you you find them, buy it up because I you know. Well, I, you I know, I, I was talking about. So so listen to this because I was talking to Brady about this earlier. 
Brady was saying like, oh, we sports is going for so much. But dude, 8,000 million people are selling it on eBay, like a copy of Wii Sports for $20, but they're not moving. No. They're it, not they moving. They moved during the pan- pandemic early on in, um, in COVID. They, they were moving, and I sold a couple copies at $35, um, $35, which was the lowest at the time, right? I went on and underbid everybody. Um, and you know, of course they sold, they sold quickly, but, uh, you know, I think, I think now with, I think people got their fill, you know, they, they, they went back and got their Wii Sports fill. And, yeah. I was and now trying to tell Ryan that those were going for like back 50 down. bucks in the cardboard. They sleeve. were, they were, they're not anymore. Yeah. That was this time last year. Yeah. Dude, you know what the, that Wii Sports shit was like? The fucking the the Disney propaganda, the Disney VHS propaganda. Remember when they were yeah, saying the, like the those, those fucking VHS sports stuff? Yeah, they oh, yeah. were dick. <laughs> they were the dollar. They were fifty cents. They were saying like the <laughs> Black Diamond Beauty and, and or Beauty and the Beast was going for like thousands. There was a seller at the uh, garage sale today. Had a whole tub of them. Could have bought them the whole thing for fifteen bucks. Whole the whole shebang. I did not, though. I did not purchase more VHS tapes because my wife, again, would have, would have killed me. We have some, but I don't, I don't need any. Yeah, I got the good old clamshell Disney VHSs. Yeah, but do you watch them? Does Little Man watch them? No. Well, yeah. he watches some of the VHSs uh. I got. I, I still pick up some of the cartoons and shit for him on VHS and pop them in the combo. All right. That's then then that's good. As long as you're actually watching. I know I know we never watched our VHSs and that was like I like having them, believe me. But it was like we just weren't like ended up just downloading everything on the internet and putting it on Plex. Which again, <clears throat> I know I've mentioned it here before. If you're not using Plex, got to use Plex. <laughs> really recommend it. I know all everybody. Of it. I think I've had it, but I don't. I still don't really understand it. <laughs> well, we'll do a Plex stream sometime. Am about. I the only one that uses like a flash video, MP4 downloader off a lot of those movie sites? Am I the only one doing that? Yeah, I maybe I need a VPN, but I still do the 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 torrent thing. So, yeah. <laughs> but they can't they can't trace it when you flash video download movies off movie sites. They can't trace that. I've never heard of that. You Maybe not. That. I I don't know. I've never tried. I I usually want to look for old shit, not new shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh dude, I'm not, I'm not trying to rip shit off me, Netflix. Um, what was it? Oh, well, I, I was able to capture it with the um, uh, with the Elgato. I was able to capture Netflix uh, clips using the Elgato. Oh, it worked right. out. That's not a bad idea either. All right, sorry about that, guys. Welcome back, zombie. Is the bed a little, situ- little discrepancy is all? Is the bed situation handled? Crickets. Hello? <laughs> Zombie, you there? Maybe I need to go back to Usenet. We're getting, we're getting some comments about torrents. In the, uh... Yeah, I'm here. Sorry. Oh, BFG, if you have a... <clears throat> if you have a... VPN, you can get uh, Chinese games from... Nintendo, like <laughs> shit that's not not released in the states. Um, yeah, yeah. My son has uh, acquired them at some oh, point. Oh yeah, yeah. You did tell me about that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, uh, uh, Kamikaze Ikun. Um. 
they they do run with HDCP enabled, but uh, there's a neat little workaround with the Elgato that you can do, and a HDMI splitter. So, um, it's work. It's 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 pretty great. Um. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, that's uh. Again, I'm I'm a I'm a proponent for Plex. If you have a, a large digital library on your own home PCs, movies and uh, music, you're you're missing out. Not using Plex. I just uh, at one point I stuck like just two terabytes on one of those like my old um. I told you I got like a, that that Seagate drive I had died that was uh, hooked up to my Xbox One, and they gave me a replacement. But by the time they it i had already bought a western digital so i took like that two terabyte one they gave me and just dumped all the movies and 80s and 90s cartoons i've ever accumulated yeah onto like one of those and then just just plug that into like my uh into the usb uh like either my xbox or playstation just use that Yeah, but so like the best thing about Plex is that it's like you just set it up on your PC, and it doesn't matter what device you yeah. use. You can anything. use your phone, anything, phone, um, Xbox, uh, PS4, so what's PS3. The, so what's it? What's it? Um, what's the? What am I trying to say? So. What's the hub though? Like you have to have one computer as the hub, and then it feeds off the rest, right? Yeah, correct. Your ser your computer that your your videos are on is the server. Okay. And then, like you just sign into Plex on your device, whatever you want to access to, and it reaches back to your computer, and streams it from there, no matter where you're at. But you got to have devices that can get that Plex app. That's what I'm saying. There's Plex apps for PS4, for Xbox, for your phone, for Android, for iOS, for you know, you you Dude, name you know it. What's funny though, 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 Chris, uh, VLC Media Player has that too. Like it'll detect, like that some shit is plugged in somewhere else. Right. Next to that, like a but, lot of a lot of are doing that. Like Plex is much more user friendly, and very very simple and easy to use. So. Yeah. Yep, check it out. I mean, yeah, it uses a lot of... I mean, it's probably using some VLC technology in the background. Um, I did, let me ask you this, okay? This is maybe an, an, an irrational fear. Am I the only one that doesn't like to run smart apps off the smart TV? I prefer a console or something. Like, I have this, like, thing that I think it's, like, gonna freeze up on a TV or fuck some shit up. Like using the apps on the TV. I know that's like stupid and irrational, but like I, I I tend to like to use the apps better, like off the Xbox or the PlayStation or or I, off like a specific. You know what I'm trying to say? We do we 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 have a smart TV in the living room, <clears throat> and you can use apps and Netflix and shit on there too. We don't. We use a Roku that's plugged into it yeah. because um, not because I have a fear that it's gonna fuck something up. I just don't like it it's very clunky clunky the and tv apps mean, yeah they're they're just they're just not very user friendly and um they don't get updated very frequently so um very you won't have true. a lot of the you won't get like a lot of the new features and stuff so but but, yeah. but here's what i'm saying brooks like what to what he's saying it is clunky so i feel like the technology they built into these that, that they build into these really slim fucking led screens like, I feel like they're smooth. Like, the apps run a little smoother on, like, an Xbox or a PlayStation. So I'm saying that, like, like even on my Xfinity box, right, the apps kind of run like dog shit on that Xfinity box they gave me that's 4K capable. But for whatever reason, they, they, they play back stuff smoother on, like, a console. Yeah. It's because they didn't really take the time. <laughs> they don't give a shit. They're trying to they're trying to be a jack of all trades and it's just not. Yeah. Like, you know what? Be the best TV you can be. I'll worry about giving up, you know, some media to you. I don't need you to be built in with Netflix, right? 
<clears throat> like I don't. There's just no. Or like now, you hear okay, about okay, but he's like losing the Wi-Fi connection. Yeah. Or y'all so, hear about the app the, on them or. Here's the exception. My game room TV is one of those Roku TVs, so nice. I do like the Roku um, experience, and um, so I do use the Roku apps that come on that TV because it's it's a you know. Um, it's a legit platform as far as that goes. Um, mm -hmm. So th I'm down with that. But um, if if it wasn't, I'd you know, uh, Rooks has mentioned a Chromecast. We we had a, one of those original Chromecasts. I did like it, but it started getting um, too old, and I didn't replace it with another Chromecast. And I, again, I think I found this Roku um, that we're using in our main living room at a garage sale, of course, for like five bucks. So I was like, yeah. All right, I like, want to, to, wrap this, <laughs> to wrap up this episode three of the Nerdcast. I want all of us to name some shit that we want right now that we haven't bought yet. Like, could be a game, could be a console. Like, what what's on the horizon that, that you're like that you're itching for right now? Like, what are you what are you looking to get right now? I mean, I was I was like uh, researching those those new 3ds XLs you were telling me about. That's probably mine. But like, what about the rest of you guys? <laughs> What are you itching for? I was hoping Zombie would go first, and then Brady. <laughs> I'll I'm go first. I'll go first. Um, if it's not something I don't already have in my collection, I'd say the one thing that I'm really, really itching for is uh, streaming equipment upgrades. Okay. Zombie, I might be able to help you out. Because now that we're getting a really good response with the with the videos we've been working on, we want to like push everything to the next level, and that includes streaming. I can I can hook you up with a better microphone. Yeah, he's got a Yeti, um, Jesse. What are you using for a mic right now? As long as you got the snowball. Snowball. Do I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's I, uh, last I knew. That's what you were using. Possibly, I know it was one that came recommended um, from Eugene because he, I like the quality of his mic, and he didn't use a Yeti. Um, so yeah, I think I got the same good. one that he. The I think I got the same one that he that he has, but. Um, I want to get a better. I want to get a way better camera. I don't want to use the one on my laptop. And Brady used to have, yeah, Brady I think used I'm to looking have, to upgrade my audio. Brady used to have the Chinese Chinese knockoff. Uh, it was the Snowflake. No. <laughs> no, the I use a like twenty dollar 1080p Amazon webcam. That's all I use. I don't think it's too bad. The GoPro 9 looked even better, but I got to take down all my fucking internet security whenever I use that. That's kind of <laughs> bullshit. See, I want a GoPro for when I when I actually go out and about. Uh, that's why we're going to try to... We're going to beta test that with the new series that we're working on for my channel to see how well that takes. And if that becomes... If that becomes something that people are interested in, then I'm going to try to do uh, either live or I'm going to try to record anything that I go looking for in the wild for. Yeah, I, just, I still need to use the GoPro for some channel videos. I've only used it for live streams. Chris, did you say yours? I didn't. I was trying to think. <laughs> um, wait, what was what was the question? I was what what's uh, what, something what? that you're looking for or itching to get to I add to your collection? I have everything. <laughs> I know, and, and I'm not I'm not trying to sound like that, but I do. I I have like almost anything I like anything that I've wanted. I've just gone ahead and gotten. Um, I'm very I, rich. I've like books in my apartment. Yeah, I, the rich mahogany. 
I want some downtime from work, which should happen towards the end of the month. Um, so I could get back to streaming. I, I do. I want to get back to streaming um, some games, um, hanging out with you guys and stuff. Um, I'm, I'm glad I've been able to, to make this Nerdcast. Um, as far as a game goes, for some reason, I, I'm kind of looking to get a copy. I, I missed it when they put it up of uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World on Switch. I'd like to find. I got that on the um, PS3. Yeah, but it's not a physical. No, no, yeah. Yeah, so like they came out with a it's physical a fun game, one that run. I know, and you know, I never really got into it, but the more I kind of look at it and see it, I'm like, I, I think I want to play that. I think I want to own that. And game. a good movie. <laughs> so, um, I'm, I'm just kind of keeping an eye out for that, but I, not too hard, not too, not too difficult. Um, I'm also just waiting on my limited run games orders to to come in that I placed already so uh need need those to arrive but you know those are months and months out because that's the way they work so unfortunate i invested uh heavily in uh disney bucks <laughs> that's uh money you can only spend at disney world now i wouldn't doubt it ryan <laughs> you know there's a stand everybody, at disney that if you go up to and say have a nice day or what is it? Everybody was investing in crypto. I was investing in Disney books. No, there's a stand at Disney. If you go up and say something polite, they'll give you something free from there. I forget what it was. It was like a Disney hack. You used to be able to get um, they... like buttons and pins from the visitor center. Yeah. So I remember I had to run all over Disneyland to various locations to get a pin for uh, Little Zombie's first trip. And it literally says my first visit to Disneyland. I had to run all over the <laughs> damn park just to find a place that had them. I saw Pat Miranda just walking around. You saw what? Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> he was just walking around nonchalantly. Nobody around him. And I was little and had my little Disney autograph book and fucking ran up to him. So you bugged him when he was on a vacation? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. I should have I ran up and said, if done correct, no defense. And then he like karate chops you to he the He would have done the crane on me. I'm like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that does it for episode three of the Nerdcast. You can catch us usually Friday nights, sometimes Saturday nights, we'll say. Sometimes. Uh, sometimes Friday uh, we nights. Had, I want to thank uh, Jesse, Zombie JLT1, for being on the show. I want to thank Chris of Big thank Family you. for being on the show. Um, the Brady, B Rad, our excellent producer. Uh, I'm Richard Ryan, and uh, join us next time.